Good morning. <laughs> it's actually technically morning, so I could say good morning, but it's about 3 a.m. right now, and I am working. I guess this is how what my work looks like during my night shifts, where I do my graveyard shifts of 9, 10 p.m. to 6 to 8 a.m. work shifts. It's kind of nice doing YouTube full time because I could choose my own hours that I work the most efficiently but at the same time like you have to really manage your time really well since it is like a self-employed business producing content there's no one to tell you what time to come in what time to leave and all of that is like kind of up to you which is good but it could also be kind of hard we've actually been implementing graveyard shifts into my schedule because we found it to be really, really helpful in protecting and keeping family time, just family time. Also, in like November, Michael and I found this production strategy between us to be really, really helpful in our work efficiency. So usually it'll take me like 3 to 20 hours to edit a video. But Michael will take the footage and he'll just chop it all up. So if you equate it to cooking, it's basically like... Michael takes the celery and then he'll just like chop it up and like line it up to how it's best consumed and then I'll take it and like clean it up and then I'll like plate it oops, make it like look nice but in the way that he kind of chopped it so that's what we've been doing with our videos this is untouched by me he just kind of chopped it up and lined it up and ordered it in the way that has a nice flow to the video and then I'll go in and add music, add graphics, clean it up. We also set up an organizational layout on our desktop, putting shortcuts of like video editing files. So we use Adobe Premiere for our video editing. I set up these files to put onto the desktop and we have like a whole bunch. <laughs> It's just future videos that um, I just put the files together and then Michael will go in open them and chop it all up And then he'll kind of organize them to what he thinks will be best to upload when So we have this table almost of my channel and the family channel my channel and the family channel for the next week And then Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday uploads what I do is I open this and then I'll go and edit it. I don't think I've ever actually made like a how we edit our videos or how we how I work like behind the scenes of the creation of our videos before but I guess this will kind of be that. It's kind of interesting. Michael puts like these files here for the thumbnail at the beginning and I just go and see like what I think will be a good thumbnail. So for like the filter or like the color, I usually just play around with it. I think I might just reset this and then look for one that's nice and clean. Oh, I like this one. It's nice and warm. I'm gonna choose a song in my template file. like a chill but exciting like something's gonna happen kind of vibe like we're traveling kind of vibe you know I wanted to start from there. so I usually just match it to the music and how it makes me feel so right here should be the next scene. Oh, I, sometimes these things are just divine. Like sometimes like everything just kind of plays out well. Like right here the music ends. It goes da da da, right? So what I'm gonna do, <laughs> everything that I create, it's like inspired by things that I've seen and also they're inspired by like just what I happen to come across at that time. So right here it goes, right? 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into this nested file and see. Yeah, there's more of that. So I'm gonna extend this so it gives me more to work with here. And then right before that next beat, I'm gonna delete the rest of the music. That's where I'm gonna make the transition. Okay. So right here, I'm just gonna go. Flicker effect. I think I want it to be faster than that. So when I finish a segment, I usually watch it all the way again from the beginning. Oops. This is about a minute of footage or like a minute of the completed video. I just like to watch it over with the music too. Right here, I'm gonna add a title. Okay, this is gonna be called Chicago. Whether it's like video editing, which I normally hate, but like just seeing the process of a video coming together and like it makes me feel so satisfied and it's really rewarding that feeling. It happens when I do my makeup clients too when I like get to a certain part of their makeup where it just looks so good and I'm like oh, It's so good. I start fangirling over like their makeup even though I did it I think it's like really lame and like cringy, but then at the same time I guess it's good that I Like the work that I'm seeing on my clients faces. Yeah, there's like a certain point when I'm like, oh my god <laughs> It's so good. I just feel like there are parts and times like that when in the process of doing the work you already foresee the reward of the final product and it makes you excited you know what i mean it's 5 30 and i literally have four more minutes left to edit but i'm feeling so sick and so indigested i don't think i chewed my banana well g-a-l-a-h-a-d go ahead when I do captions, I just listen to what they're saying and then just rewrite it. Sometimes it's hard to understand what the kids are saying though because I don't really understand. Sometimes what, like I have to, I forget what they said and I have to like replay it multiple times. But for like um, other languages like Japanese or Korean, I'll usually um, translate it and then put like a caption. I'm the one that's filming. I can't believe it. I'm dragon fruit. Oh, finally rendering this. It's almost seven. Rendering a video file means that you're taking the editing file and then you're composing it into an actual watchable video that's also uploadable. There's 19 minutes left on this. And usually at six, I'll wake up Michael, but I've been telling him that the timestamps so far since 5.30 and he's pretty tired, like he slept. A little late last night so we'll probably let the kids sleep in a bit usually we wake them up at like six but um, it's almost seven I think at seven it'll be pretty good to wake them up to get ready for school good morning it's 7 30 I feel so sick I feel so sick still how was your sleep yeah. Oh, it bite you? It bit you? Where did it bite you? You don't remember? What happened in your dream? You're yelling so loud. I was sleeping in the, a box of donuts. Da ba da sa da donuts! So Gal has patiently spent a long time dicing up this apple. And he wants me to make apple juice now. Put the apples inside. Water. And then start blending. There you go, Zik. Let me know how it's like. How does it taste? The apple juice. Yeah, I know it tastes like apple juice, but does it taste good or how is it? How does it taste? <laughs> Started getting really busy and we were in a time crunch, so I couldn't vlog, but I just put the kids in. And now I have a couple essays to do today. I have class later at 6 p.m. Man, this place is a mess. 
Do some dishes. Yes, I finished my paper. So glad, but I got another one to do. This book is like stained. Hey, we're back from school. Yeah. Hi, yes. Daddy. Look, I can do this. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Zay. Same time. Alright, today we did take out dinner. Kind of got lazy. Got some chicken from Thai Express. Got some pizza for you, Zeke, too. We, we kind of ate some, Zeke. I'm sorry. Hi, Mom. Good morning, Zeke. Good morning, Zeke. I'm in. I'm in. No, that's too good. Bye. Hi. Why are you laughing? You had a good seven hours sleep. Seven and a half. Yeah. I fell down and my knee was like this. <laughs> you need yourself. <laughs> Where does it hurt most? A bottom or top? <laughs> bottom, yeah. Don't worry, just calm down a bit. Okay? Oh, thanks, Zeke. Thank you. Thanks. He thinks you'll feel better with a balloon. <laughs>